Hello guys, what's up? My name is Anil and this is my video tutorial on C programming. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how we can delete a file in C using one of the functions available in C. So this function is called remove. You can find the prototype of this remove function in the stdio.h header file. So first we're gonna see the syntax and then we're gonna see how we can use this function in our program. So you can see here, this remove function as a parameter takes the file name. So this file name is the name of the file which we want to delete with the extension. And also this remove function is gonna return some integer values. So depending on this integer value, we can say that whether the file has been deleted or not. If the return value is zero, then it's gonna mean that file has been deleted successfully. And if it is a non-zero value, then no, it's gonna mean that there was some errors while deleting the file. So now, first we're gonna save our file. So I'm gonna save it in my E drive uh, inside the C programs folder and I'm gonna call it as delete and also make sure that you have the extension or the save as type should be C source files or C++ source files this time I'm gonna select C source files save it so next we're gonna use this remove function in our program since this remove function is gonna return some integer value, we need a variable to store that value. So I'm gonna create an integer variable and uh, I'm gonna call it as status. Next, we're gonna use the remove function and we need to pass the file name as the argument. So to demonstrate that, I'm gonna create a file in my E drive inside the C programs folder where this delete.c is present and I'm gonna create a text document and I'm gonna name it as example. So this is example.txt and also the main thing is this example.txt is present where the exe file of this delete.c will be present. You know when we compile our program it's gonna create an exe file and that exe file will be created where this delete.c is present. So that delete.exe will be here and also this example.txt is also you know in the same folder so now in our program we're gonna call the remove function so it's gonna be remove and as a parameter we need to pass the file name that is example.txt and we're gonna store that return value from this remove function in our status variable so it's gonna be status equal to remove function with a file name example.txt as the argument so the next thing we want to do is we just want to print out the value stored in the status variable that is the value returned from the remove function so which is of type integer so I'm going to use the format specifier as percentage %d and add a new line here and refer the status variable next we're going to use the if and else statements to print the appropriate message whether the file has been deleted or not so I'm going to use if status equal to zero which is gonna mean that file has been deleted successfully we're gonna print that to the screen and uh, I'm gonna use the put as function so it's gonna be put as and a string specifying that file deleted else if there was any errors while deleting the file then we're gonna print that to the screen also I'm gonna use the put as function again and uh, I'm gonna say error while deleting the file so that's it I'm gonna save it again then uh, go to okay before that uh, I'm gonna open up the folder where our delete.c and also this example.txt is present and uh, I'm gonna minimize it here so when I execute this one compile and run you know you can see here you know that example.txt is not present and it's been deleted and also you can see an exe file of delete.c so here the return value from this remove function is zero which is gonna mean that you know file has been deleted successfully that's why it just printed the if part and it just said file deleted and now if I run this program again what happens is this example.txt which is the file we want to delete is not present where this delete.exe is present that's why it's gonna result in error and it's gonna 
print out the else part so I'm gonna run this run you can see here the return value from this remove function is minus one and also it just executed the else part and it just printed you know error while deleting the file so I'm gonna close it and the next thing I wanna teach you is what if the file we want to delete is present inside a folder so I'm gonna create a folder and I'm gonna call it as uh, let's say anil and uh, we're gonna create that example.txt inside this anil folder so it's gonna be example.txt so now if you want to delete this example.txt inside the anil folder what we need to do is we need to pass the path so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write anil which is a folder name then uh, uh, a slash and then specifying the file name which is example dot txt so now if I open up this folder here and you can see the example dot txt which is present inside the uh, anil folder if I compile and run know it says file deleted and also you know the return value is zero and when I open up this anil folder you can see here you know the file is been deleted so so now we're gonna have a recap so to delete a file in C we're gonna use a function which is called remove and uh, you have to pass the file name as a parameter to this remove function and this remove function is gonna return some integer value you can pass the file name or you you can pass the path of the file also from the root and uh, you know if that file and the exe file of the uh, c file you are working is present in the same folder then you just need to you know pass the file name as the argument so this is it guys thank you for watching this is how you can delete a file in c i see you in the next tutorial